Okay, so today's video is going to be a review of these What Ain't In A Day as a model on TikTok because there's a lot of them, right? And there's a lot of individuals who see these models and they're like, wow, they look good. They look amazing. You know, what they're doing is obviously working. I'm going to copy how they eat. And that's a huge, huge mistake because a lot of them are very young. They have no idea. It's a genetic thing, <laughs> you know, and like I'm proving that I can have kind of model proportions, basically, not the height maybe, but maintain that without any restriction, without any drugs and keep the flat belly, no calorie restriction at all, no over-exercising, any of that. You know, so it is possible to maintain a slim, fat, fit, healthy body. So let's check it out. Let's see what they're eating in a day on TikTok. We are on this young lady's page, a Rachel She, and she is a model. So what I eat in a model in a day, what I eat in a model, <laughs> what I eat in a day as a model. And we've got another one here as well. So hang around for that. Let's get into it. Uh, let's see what this young woman eats in a day. As a model who doesn't do any dieting or restrictive eating. Okay, so she said, what I eat as a, mo as a model who doesn't do any dieting or restrictive eating. And she's holding a lot of packet stuff. We'll see how this goes. So first I started off my day with a green juice. I do like to make my own, but if I don't have time, then I'll just pick one up at the store. Not bad, not bad. I am a little, I, I'm, you know how I feel about the green juice. It's like the f lack of fiber, but also the fact that it is a big hit of plant pesticides, like naturally occurring pesticides. You're like concentrating it. Um, you're not just eating the leaf, for instance. And we will talk more about that because the plant doesn't really want you to eat its leaves. That's its source of like where it's able to do photosynthesis and get its energy from the sun. So it's going to pump some plant pesticides into like the roots, the stem, the leaves to deter you because you're a per you're a pest, right? You're trying to eat its leaves <laughs> and that's going to uh, threaten its survival and its chances of reproduction. So you've got to think of it in that way. So something to think about. And then I made a really tasty omelet. Well, it was supposed to be an omelet. Ah, oh, gross. <laughs> Omelets cannot be tasty if they're including henstruations, the unfertilized reproductive cycle of a chicken. No, thank you. And it ended up being a little bit more scrambled than I would like. But she sounds very, very young. And she's, oh gosh, she's got like the, uh, the carcinogenic just, I mean, this is a carcinogen. This is bacon. This is a uh, pig flesh and it's a known carcinogen. And it's still kind of trendy to eat on social media. I just can't believe it. They're obviously not getting the message. This is looking like a shocking low carb breakfast but it still tasted good. It was, you know, all the same. Oh, Maya no. was laughing at me because I was recording, um, but I just had that with some bacon. And then for lunch, okay. Maya made me this really- Oh, yikes. Really good chicken sandwich. Oh, damn, that had a lot of, that's a very- like Chicken sandwich. I'm sorry, we have to display again to hold it. Is that, is that cheese or something and chicken or that's just double chicken? Double dead bird. That's what we're looking at there. Bit of war time on the outside and a little bit of green there. Not great. Chicken sandwich with spinach, basil, mozzarella, and some balsamic glaze. Spinach, basil, mozzarella. That's a big hunk of mozzarella. Yikes. This, <laughs> this is going to lead to a lot of issues and definitely weight gain. With Taco Chico, of course. And I also had a bunch of Girl Scout cookies that I forgot to film, so that was kind of- Girl Scout cookies, right? How about fruit? Have you thought about some sweet fruit, like some bananas? Well, you know, just a suggestion. Basil Berry Aura Bora. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't like, from my, um, I'm just thinking about when I was growing up, you know, what the marketing was like. This is just next level. The marketing's gone crazy since social media and internet. Now is just where we're totally overwhelmed with a whole lot of lies and crap, even more than before. My snack. Then for dinner, I was deciding between- and th That thing is probably like artificial sweetener, right? Yeah, what is it? Zero calories. Yeah, great. Okay. Then for dinner, I was deciding- That stuff will give you explosive diarrhea, by the way. Between these two drinks, and I decided to try the first one. Um, it was- Drinks? That looked like fish. I was trying to decide between those. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, flesh. Oh. Between these two drinks. Salmon. And I decided to try the first one. Um, it was really, really good. I just love trying like fun, different flavored seltzers. 
And then for dinner, I made Mediterranean rice. Oh, this is like a glove my mom got to help me open jars. But yeah, I had some. I really feel like she's going for the low carb here. Yeah, she does have some rice there, which is good. But yeah, she's got the heavy metal uh, mercury filled uh, salmon. Okay, yeah, parasites as well. It's a real thing. Okay, I would not be having this wild salmon, whatever. Okay, antibiotics, there's a whole lot of issues. It is not worth it. Don't risk your health and don't, you know, just leave the animals alone, right? Let them do the thing. Let them swim around while you eat fruit mainly. And, you know, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to look so much better. And, like, she's very young. Salmon and rice. So things aren't catching up yet. And cucumber. So if you're a model and you want to eat freely, you'd be able to eat as much as you care for, no more restriction, get off the caffeine, then I recommend my books. And even if you're not a model, of course. But the models out there who really think they've got to take drugs, they've got to under eat drastically, it's just wrong. And a lot of the proportions that they want is unrealistic, of course. But I'm, what I'm saying is if you want to stay in shape and slim and fit, then these books are where it's at. This lifestyle, fruit based, is amazing. It'll keep you in shape, keep you healthy and thriving. Isn't that the main thing? That should be the main goal of life, right? Thriving. So check out these books. You can get them all for the price of like dinner and a movie, right? So cheap to change your life. It's really going to be worth it for you. And I've lost over 40 pounds. So check it out. There's a link to the bundle in the description below. Change your life forever starting today. And avocado. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, you need a lot more carbs, sister. You need a lot more carbs. That is not a good example for the young ones following you. That's for sure. Green juice, yeah, we talked about that. The eggs are... Oh, gosh. This is, this is like a shocking way to start the day. Don't do it. All right, let's get on to another one. Um, more with McKenna. What I eat in a day. Looks like she's doing some modeling in the, the door of somewhere. I don't know. Is that inside some... Mobile home? <laughs> I don't know, let's see what she eats. Hang on. Okay, so we we have the music again. Okay, great. So she's showing off a Bentley, I see. Uh, morning coffee. So the morning drugs. Let's let's actually call it what it is, not the like euphemism, which is basically what it is. Morning drugs. This this will deplete your iron, deplete your minerals. Uh, it causes all sorts of issues with your psychological state, your nervous system, your bowel movements, your hunger cues. It's not worth it, right? Okay, well look, she got something in there that is carbohydrate resembling and maybe some tart cherries or something. This could be some standard yogurt. I'm not sure. She might be plant-based. I don't know at this point. Oh, beautiful. Look at those colours. Like, you know that's health food, right? When you see that, it's just, like, exciting. The colours, your senses are like, yeah, you recognise that as healthy. So, it's yeah, well, it's green, but she didn't have all green. It was fruit in there. Not bad. Got some water. Uh, this one, veggie protein bowl. I don't think she's talking it, is she? Oh, shit, no, I don't report it, but hang on. Okay, no, the music's still on veggie protein bowl so yeah she might be plant-based here it's seeming possible there needs to be even more carbohydrates though you know like she could have like some massive like sweet potato here and she could stuff it in there it looks like she has got some quinoa or something that's good but just bulk up more so then later on you don't have crap you know like these chocolates and whatever i'm not sure what she's having it but Okay, like like this, <laughs> chocolate peanut butter protein dessert. No, it's a no. This is not healthy. It, this is just going to slow your digestion so much and take so much energy from your experience, your day to digest this. You know what I'm saying? Like that energy that you would have used to go through the day and have like high energy and stuff is going to go towards digesting this protein bomb in your gut. No. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like mm, she had a she had a drugs because a diet's a de diet's deficient, not enough sweet fruit. She did have some cereal. Yeah, she had some fruit there, but look, you can see to the inexperienced eye that can be like, whoa, she's having a lot of fruit. But honestly, this oh, why doesn't that let me stop? 
I should be able to stop, right? Yeah. Um, this is an apple. This is a couple of pieces of pineapple. These are water rich items. And that's the beauty of fruit. Because it's so water rich, you get to eat like heaps of it for less calories, right? You get to eat as much as you want. It's like crazy and, and you feel full and satisfied. And it works like this because we are frugivores and this is how we're meant to eat. And this is nowhere near enough fruit. Just gotta say, just gotta say. She got the water, she showed the water a lot. So that's basically her dinner. Okay, she, she could get 700 calories there. The juice, I mean, this could be like a couple, maybe 900, like 700 plus, 700 plus 200. Oh, that's being really generous though, but you know. 900 and a coffee, that could be like about 150 or something, 1,050. And, oh yeah. She's a bit on um, she's a bit on the low side. I think she is hitting around 1600 for this day, so she's definitely under eating. And um, yeah, her energy is not going to be great. It's you know it's easy to pose right for a quick video, but it's good to see there's no animal bits and pieces. I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's watch this video. Three things I did to help me lose 15 pounds. This is also from McKenna, whatever her name was. Let's have a look. Okay. So she's posing and you can be like, wow, she looks great. You know, like she looks slim and everything. It must be working what she's doing. I want to copy. Wait a second. Wait. <laughs> uh, oh, high protein. First. Like I'm guessing this is animal, but I'm not 100% sure. But intuitive eating with high protein, nutritious foods. See, this is the whole. Uh, this is not intuitive eating. This is based on the marketing. This is based on TikTok or Instagram, YouTube marketing, on what others are eating, on what others are saying is good for weight loss. It's not your own intuition. Your intuition has been completely fucked up. Honestly, it has been by all the marketing, by just it's everywhere. And you've taken in a lot subliminally as well. So your decisions are then based on that. And that's why you have to get yourself out of it. And that's why you have to go fruit yourself. So then you actually do connect with your true, true intuition and you ignore the bullshit marketing. Okay, she likes the like the uh, music. Mix of hit and weight lifting workouts made for my body type and goals. I mean, it's definitely good to do strength work. It's definitely good to do workouts. Not too much, obviously, but smartly. And yeah, okay, she's getting a workout in. That's great. But I want to see about the food. And just remember, anyone can starve themselves temporarily. They can deplete themselves and, you know, look okay, especially when they're young. But this shit, it catches up. It really, really does. And you don't see the full truth in a 30-second TikTok. Oxy shred. Ah, there you go. She's taking drugs. Oxy shred every day to burn fat and increase my metabolism. No, that's not what it's doing. It's just depleting your body and it's basically taking chemicals. Look, it literally looks like chemicals. It looks like you're doing some lab experiment with this little thing here and you know, putting it into the, the glass. It just seems like some experiment. And that's what it is, an experiment with your health. Yeah, so she's taking drugs. We saw her taking um, the co having the coffee as well. So, yeah. This isn't the way to do it. I know it can be tempting to some of you because, you know, you see her looking a certain way you're like, oh, I want those results, but don't do it that way. If you try to cut corners, you will be a roller coaster psychologically, your body, everything. It's not worth it. All right. So that's my video for today. Don't forget to go for yourself and I will talk to you all soon.